What's up, eggs up? How we doing? Germantown, huh? You need to perform for some rich people. That's good. Some people I can relate to. That's the funniest thing I'll say the whole time. That is not true. I'm broke. I got a new job, though. I'm doing a little bit better. I like my new job. I got one complaint about the place I work. One complaint. They leave Fox Business News blaring in the break room all day. I gotta go through there to take a pee. That's just a little bit more anxiety than I need every time I go to take a pee. Have you guys been watching Fox Business lately? It's not a lot of good news. It's just a bunch of red arrows pointing downward. I don't need that every time I go to the restroom. That's just, oh God. One time I was on my way in there, there was a guy, he was just yelling, he was like, China's winning. China's beating us. China's working harder than we are. Like, oh God. Just gave me flashbacks to high school football. Anybody else have a coach that loved to tell you how hard the other teams were working? We had this one guy, our linebacker coach, Coach Standard, he would just be like, North Gwinnett's getting after it, y'all. You guys need to get working harder. They're, they're working harder than you guys are. You want to sleep in? North Gwinnett's not sleeping in. That's true. North Gwinnett was not sleeping in. North Gwinnett beat us, okay? They, they beat us pretty bad. They were not sleeping in, so. Hopefully China is sleeping in. I don't know. It is... You guys know any Chinese people? Is there any Chinese people here? No? Does anybody have a Chinese friend? Yes. Nobody. Okay. All right. I'm disappointed in you guys. That somebody should, there should be at least one. I don't, oh, I, I don't have one either, so I can't really judge you guys too much, but let's just hope that China's sleeping in. Um, let's just hope that. Fox Business is anxiety-inducing. The only other thing they leave on that TV is the Golf Channel. And that's like the opposite of Fox Business News. That's like taking heroin or something. You ever watch the Golf Channel? It's just so calming. All the announcers have English accents and they speak softly. We now go to 17, Jordan B. He's got a good mind. Oh, it's gonna be very happy with that. It's like, oh my God. Oh my God. I feel like too relaxed. I'm gonna go back to my desk and take a nap, I think. It's like, you get, have you ever heard of ASMR? Do you know what that is? The Golf Channel is just ASMR for old guys. That's what Golf Channel is. But then it goes to the commercials on the Golf Channel and that doesn't make me feel calm. That gives me anxiety when I see the commercials. Because when I see the commercials on Golf Channel, I'm like, oh no. Am I the poorest person watching Golf Channel right now? <laughs> They'll start the commercial by just assuming it, that you have a job that isn't even something you've ever aspired to do in your life. They'll be like, so, you're the CFO of a mid to large size shipping company. <laughs> like, what? No, I'm not. <laughs> Actually, not what I do. They're like, we get it. You're the chief operating officer of one of the nation's largest hedge funds. Wrong again. That's... Also, that's like 10 guys that have that job. Are, are they all watching Golf Channel right now? They must be. They must all be watching Golf Channel. The craziest one I saw, it was, a, it was an ad for an application where you can book a private jet at a moment's notice. I know we're in Germantown, but... Is that something anybody needs here? A private jet at a moment's notice? Like, if I was gonna spend four or five times my entire net worth on a single plane flight, I think I would need some notice for that. That's a crazy service to be offering. Private jet at a moment's notice. What's even crazier is how they chose to market it. The commercial, it wasn't just like they were like, wouldn't it be cool to fly on a private jet sometimes? It was like a rich guy in a suit and he was looking at a mechanic working on a private jet. And he was like, well now I'm gonna be late. So this commercial, they're just starting out, they're like, well obviously you have a private jet. Obviously you own your own plane, clearly. But look, like what are you gonna do? If your plane's in the shop. You're 
not gonna book a, a first class flight on Delta like some kind of peasant. No. Private jet. At a moment's notice. All right, guys, I think, I think that's my time. Thank you so much for coming out. Make some noise for your host, Mr. Richard Douglas Jones. Yeah.